people, 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 people. Care pasa suck pasa what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. First thing that is popping in the news, we see that the suspect in the takeaway of social media influencer Anika Slickiana Townsend. He was officially charged. I am speaking about the one Russian Patterson. However, he was charged for an unrelated incident that took place in 2018. And this is based on an incident that occurred with an ex-girlfriend of his. Based on what the girlfriend said, she called him, he called her. They met up in Duane Park in St. Andrew. He was in his car, she was in her car. In pretty much take her away, abduct her, carry her some unknown location, commence to clot in her up, commence to S-T-R-A-N-G-L-I-N-G -I -I in her. It is also said that E-R-A-P-E-D her and then try to take her away. However, she kind of use her head on him literally. She start to kiss him up and start to give him some brains, some H-E-A-D-S and promise him how much she loved him and then told him that, listen, I am not going to report it to the poor poor. Now people, it seems as if after that promise that she made, that promise wasn't fulfilled. So that was a prior incident. He did it to her once again. This is not the first time, sorry, that was not the first time he did the same thing to her before. However, she reported it to the Paul Paul, that is in 2018. However, people, we are now in 2022. Had the Paul Paul taken this seriously or had this man been locked up for that previous incident, Slickiana might have been alive today. However, we know that Slickiana was living life on the edge. For those of you that don't know, not familiar with the story as it pertains to Anika Slickiana, she was found in a place named Reading. Reading is in St. James, in the beach, in the water, them have a pretty much fish her out. She was found with all sorts of scar, pretty much one foot of shoes, N-A-K-E-D. It looked like she had all sorts of lick in her head, all sorts of wound all over her face, all over her body, scars on her back, rete, lele. She was identified by the parents, by the popo, so therefore it is official. When that incident occurred, the popo did a tracing and they realized that Mr. Roshane was the last person whose company Anika Slickiana was in. So therefore, they asked him to turn in himself to the popo. It was not forthcoming. As a matter of fact, the day before he was arrested, he was arrested a couple of days ago in Hanover in a guest house. He was staying at that guest house for in excess of about a week. However, the owner, the operator, the manager of that guest house said that he was not the one that registered or signed in. He was signed in by somebody else. So therefore, people, this tells you that you have people that are facilitated. These criminals and sometimes mostly women, sometimes a friend. However, people, it is a criminal act to be harboring a fugitive, especially somebody that is as dangerous as Mr. Patterson. Now, people, there's a very disturbing trend as it pertains to what he was charged for the other day. The kidnapping, takeaway, cough, cough up, R-A-P-E. And also, he wanted that lady to give him some sorts of money. However, his career as a K-I-D-N-A-P-P-E-R abductor did not start there. He had a case in 2013 in which 
I spoke about before in a previous video. Him and his combolos was rolling in a car. They saw a man and a woman, boyfriend, girlfriend, man and woman. It is said that Mr. Patterson and his friends took away that lady and the man. The man tried to make an escape. However, them run him down, them G.U. and him down. It is said that they took this lady to some sort of bush bush. R-A-P-E-R. Jump over her fence. Bust her throat. And then thought that she was gone. However, she would have lived to tell the tale. She made a report to the Paw Paw. However, the case was dragging on for in excess of four years. Maybe that lady's emotional traumatizing experience. She kind of got scared. She feared for her life and the fact that it took her forever and a day. Four years from 2013 to 2017, he was released because there was a no case submission by his lawyer. His lawyer said, listen, when the poor poor picked him up after he was a suspect, they caught him in halfway tree. This man is a good man. This man was on his way to register at the University of the West Indies for his profession. So people, you see who are facilitating the F-U-C-K-R-Y. The judges that are in bed with these lawyers. These lawyers whose motive, sole motive is money. They will defend the devil with a pitchfork. Them not care as long as you can afford that retainer. You are represented and they are going to paint a picture like Picasso of you being a man of the cloth. The Lord himself. So anyways, people, like me said, so that at 2013, in bust the case because of a technicality, the lady did not show up. She knows that she lose her boyfriend. She knows that this boy is dangerous. She knows that, listen, Sometimes people are tell the suspect all sorts of information. And people again, like me say, robbery, abduction, K I D N A P P I N G R A P E S T R A N G L E Lation. Now people, even though there is disturbing trends, patterns of this man as it pertains to A B U S E. R A P E S T R A N G E Lation All sorts of Kuf Kuf up This is going to be a case Mostly based on Circumstantial evidence Because like them say D E A D man A woman Tells no sorts of tale So therefore There is not going to be Anybody Other than The evidence In which this lady leave the trails that were left. I am speaking about since this man is a known S E R I A L jump over fence person. There is more than likely going to be seamen before him fling her down at the seashore. There is going to be also a B L O O D splatter in his car, in her car, whatever place she was last at when they met up. So therefore, the poor poor are going to have to buckle down, do their investigation. It is not what it perceived to be or because of these patterns. It is what they can actually prove in a court of law. Not what them feel, not what them think. What them can prove to a jury. Because more than likely, based on this man's arrogance, based on the fact that he has been bucking the system, from 2013, the least or the last thing that we should expect to see is this man playing. He is going to fight it tooth and nail until hopefully we get the resolution, the justice that this lady and the other victims before her need. Hopefully, the ex-girlfriend can come in a court and talk because people like me say, there are at least two other victims, the ex-girlfriend and the one in which embossed our throat, take away our boyfriend. So therefore, people, these persons are going to play a very important role 
in the conviction or this case. Hopefully, they will have the guts, have the B-A-L-L-S to take it through, through the court system, point blank and period. So people, that shows you that this man is a dangerous character. However, what it also shows you is the choices that these young ladies, these new generation women are making. Sometimes they just go for looks. Sometimes the people that are the most dangerous criminals, dance smugglers, they are the most charming people. Worse if they have some sorts of looks. Worse if they are good in a BED people, a lot of these women. The only thing the deal breaker or deal maker is if him can put it down in a bed. If him have a long slang. If him tongue a wish and a wash like some sort of seal. That is what wins these ladies over nowadays. So even when them see the signs that listen. This man have a little violent streak about him. This man have some sort of anger management problem. People, as long as he have put it down upon them, as long as he have charm, as long as he have looks. But people, this man was nothing but a PIMP. This man was nothing but somebody that is looking to take advantage of people. This man is what we call a S-E-R-I-A-L-R-A-P-I-S-T and a K-I-L-L-E-R. So therefore, when we say this happened in 2013 and then we see say East Charles for a 2018 incident and then we see say as it pertains to Slickiana, she was the last person in which he was in her presence. There is a pattern, a disturbing pattern and people like me say, he is supposed to be questioned by the popo in the presence of his lawyer. And people, like I've told you before, he was making arrangements with a lawyer. The lawyer had spoken to the popo and they had made arrangements for him to turn himself in. In at that same day when they caught him, 1 a.m. in the morning at the guest house in Hanover. However, people, like them say, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bushes. So therefore, from the popo upon him trail, and they had an idea, an inclination where he was at. They was not going to give him a chance for changing mind and run with, take for himself. So therefore, they did what they had to do. They did their due diligence and they make sure set them go for him from where he was. Point blank and period. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news, you've heard me spoken about a wise man learns from his mistake. And a wiser man learns from the mistakes of others. However, it seems as if our penal system don't learn a thing from the mistakes of the past. Meaning that people escaping on a regular basis from our fine institutions. It seems as if every month we hear say somebody walk through the door. Somebody bust through the grill. Somebody go through the AC vents, whichever way that they can leave, them have the key, them have a set of key, them pay the poor poor in charge, them politician call the station and make arrangements for them to leave an orthodox way. Any which way you can think about they are leaving, they are obviously not staying, regardless of how serious how wanted, how evil this person is. Numerous occasions. However, the same thing happened less than 24 hours ago. A 16-year-old robbery suspect, he was taken to the family courts. However, when he was supposed to be returned to the penal institution, which he is a resident, he ran out of the arms of the guards security mad chase ensued all the way all over downtown them catch him close to the waterfront then bring him back to the jail to the courthouse now people let me ask you a question do you think that this person 
been reading the news and sister. You know, sir, them security guard, them are laps. You know that they are not very alert. You know that them not shackle my foot. Them not chain on my hand. Them not on a waist chain around me. So therefore, I am just going to wait till I catch them slipping like everybody else. And then I am going to blaze, make a mad dash for it and people. It seems as if that was what he did. However, based on the fact that he was wanted, based on the fact that he probably did not know where he was, and based on the fact that a lot of these security guard, CEO, or some young youth used to run at champs, probably not as winded as him, them run him down and them catch him, luckily for the rest of Jamaica. So the question I have to ask, and the concern that I have is this. Is it too expensive? Is it too much to ask that the protocols as it pertains to the prison system, the protocols as it pertains to transporting these prisoners are just followed? Because people, it is really not that complicated. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to make you know, say, listen, all you have to do, put them in our cage, lock the door where the cage there, lock the next door that leads to that door. So therefore, there is always some sorts of lock in which them can jump out. Some sorts of window have some sorts of burglar bar, some sorts of AC vent that a human being cannot go through. And if a human being can fit through it, meaning him shoulder, him body, then maybe you might want to put some sorts of grill upon it to prevent such an occurrence. However, people, me no know where it is. Me no know if these people too busy on social media, on WhatsApp. Me no know if Mate has stressed them or what is the problem. But these people seems to be always caught lapsing on people. Whenever them catch you slipping, they are going to take advantage because that is what criminals do. Thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos that are straight to the point, no sorts of beating around the bush, show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Word to the wise. Whenever you are striving in life, there's always going to be a set of vipers. A set of vipers that are very insecure, that have a whole bunch of hate in their hearts because they see your talent, they see your greatness. They realize that your ceiling is in the stratosphere. However, compared to them, their ceiling is in the cellar, in the abyss of hell. So because of that, they are going to do everything within their means to bring you down because that is the only way that they can feel as if they are up. Point blank and period.